This project is unique because of the uh, three mods going together, which was 120 feet by 72 feet. So we've got over 8,000 square feet of wide open space, which is unique to a modular building because usually inside the building there's going to be columns to support the roof. Uh, the client needed the clear span because of the size of the equipment and the amount of equipment they have. There's certain tolerances uh, by building codes or electrical codes and because there's so much congestion of equipment and large equipment there was VFDs that are well over 35,000 pounds per unit. The space that's needed there was no room for a column. If we put a column there then the customer would be limited on where they could get their equipment. They'd almost have to add another module to make it work. So even though the building's big it could have been much larger and taken much more footprint on site, but with the design that the structural and electrical team did, we were able to get it into a tighter space with no restrictions due to codes. There's massive integration of uh, HVAC. There's, again, structural, so lots of steel. There's lots of ducting for the HVAC and mechanical, and there's lots of cable tray and cable and equipment throughout the building. And we were able to align it all in so that it fit, it met all the codes, and we were able to execute it in a time frame that was extremely tight for the customer. We worked very closely with the client through the technical and the commercial portion of this uh, proposal procedure. Um, we, due to our large size and our capacity that we have here, we were able to provide the client with a single point of contact and a single point of fabrication. Uh, we're able to be a, um, a turnkey solution provider. Overall, it's been a great project for us. It's, it's been something that uh, we're very proud of being a part of.